I Love Dogs presents the Poodle. The Poodle originated in Germany but was perfected in France. It was bred as a water retriever used in hunting. Its non-shedding coat, extreme intelligence, and solid temperament make the Poodle a popular breed all over the world. The Poodle comes in three sizes, standard, miniature, and toy. This breed comes in a variety of colors, including white, black, cream, apricot, chocolate, and of course, pink. Just kidding. The Poodle might be poofy, but it's no sissy dog. This is a very athletic breed that excels in dog sports. People who live with poodles sing their praises to the rooftops. Why poodles are great. Poodles are great pets because they are loving and they're wonderful with children. They're playful, they're smart, and God. They're cute. Yeah, that's a good one. They're cute. <laughs> what else, Charlie? They're fluffy. They're fluffy. And they do good tricks. And they do good tricks. He does shake paw. He Sit. does. Sit. And lay. And lay. And catch. Catch. And he, oh my gosh. And what did we find out that Tummy can do that we were so surprised the other day? What? He can howl. Howl. I saw this dog and fell in love with him. So I don't think I consciously chose a standard poodle, but now that we have one, I would always get another standard poodle. And people that have standard poodles, um, you know, that have grown up with them, they say that they're the best dogs for families and little kids. And it was really for me about finding a dog that would be perfect for my son. So he's very protective and he's a good judge of people. Um, I really feel safe with him in the apartment. Living in New York um, with a child, I love having a big poodle. He is a red poodle, and they are supposedly somewhat rare. He looks a little like an apricot poodle, but when he was a puppy, you know, they, when they're puppies, the, the, their color is a little different before all the white, coarse poodle hair comes in. So he really did look red when he was, when he was younger. My favorite thing about Tommy is that when I lay down on him, he won't get up. Grooming your poodle. Grooming is actually um, a lot less than I thought it would be. I don't do a traditional puppy cut though. I love like his hair grown out. So we try to grow out his hair as much as possible, which involves some brushing. I get him groomed maybe every eight weeks. Your poodle's health. Poodles are a really interesting breed because there's more than one size in the particular breed. As a result, we can have some breed-related issues that have to do with the pet size, such as a large poodle could potentially develop more of an orthopedic problem, such as a bad hip or even bloat, while a smaller poodle might be a little more prone to problems with their teeth. So we have to think about all the different things that could affect these poodles that could just have to do with their size, regardless of their breed. As poodles are very athletic dogs, we have to really make sure that we're paying close attention to their day-to-day -day health as pertains to their muscles, their bones, their tendons, and their ligaments. So certainly, regardless of a poodle being big or small, they could potentially develop arthritis. So one really good thing that you could do to help to benefit your poodle's health, regardless of their life stage, is to give them a joint supplement. My preferred joint supplement is the I Love Dogs Glucosamine and Chondroitin Sulfate with Reishi and Green Tea, which also has other beneficial health effects with the antioxidant effects of green tea and the immune system supporting effects of reishi mushroom. Training your poodle. Poodles are very well known as one of the most intelligent breeds. Actually, after the Border Collie and before the German Shepherd, poodles have tested highest in intelligence. And what that means is that they can learn commands very, very quickly. It also means that when given a command, they respond more uh, reliably than most other breeds of dog. Your first instinct when you see a poodle is maybe to think prissy. You see the big uh, puffy balls of fur on the head, on the ankles, on the tail, on the backside. But they're actually an extremely athletic breed of dog. They do fantastic with obedience, with agility, with all kinds of dog sports. They're fantastic to train because of that level of intelligence. 
Uh, very, very smart. They catch on quickly. It actually has very quickly become one of my favorite breeds of dogs.